Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be playing a source mod called Alchemilla or Alchemia, depending on which country you live in, they're going to pronounce it differently. Now, there was a reason I was quiet for the first minute or so of this video, and that is because this mod is very, very influenced by the early Silent Hills. They did a very good job trying to sort of recreate the feel that Silent Hill made, and this isn't a remake of the older Silent Hills, it's just very inspired by the early Silent Hills. Believe it or not, this music is not actually Silent Hill music, but it is music made by the modders of this game. So the person does a very, very good job, uh, the person that made the music did a very good job of recreating the way Silent Hills music did sort of sound and the feelings that Silent Hills music would give you. Silent Hill, in my opinion, is... It did horror right. It did horror by messing with your brain and making the atmosphere very, very... I don't want to use the word intense, but very immersive. Uh, whereas a lot of other horror games will result, resort to kind of trying to spook scare you, have things pop out of you, and that's really not scary. That's just, oh no, I can physically get hurt, whatever shall I do with the shotgun in my hand. Uh, Silent Hill just tried to creep you out by the environment and the music and the sound effects and the ambiance in the background, and I think they're doing a very good job of recreating it. Now this mod, this mod is not actually done yet, and usually I do not get excited about mods that aren't finished yet, and they have a to-be-continued or to-be-announced uh, to release dates. Usually I kind of ignore these, because these will either drop off, die entirely, or you won't see them come out for years. But they just released a demo of this mod, and I figured, I really do like Silent Hill. The older Silent Hills, especially Silent Hill 2, are some of my favorite games, so uh, let's just try the demo. I've never played it before, and see how it turns out. If you want to play this game, uh, I put a link down below in the video information. This tells you how to install it, where to download it, all that stuff.
If I've learned anything from Silent Hill 2, if anything involves Silent Hill and there's a garbage chute, you're supposed to throw something inside of it. Dear God, that, that was such a vague puzzle in Silent Hill 2. How am I going to think to do that? And what relevance did that even have? Alright, well, this is the only room it seems I can go into, so there's got to be something in here. Oh, I found a flack of acid. A little thing pops up when you can pick something up. That's kind of cool. I thought it was a glitch for a second, but it's not. I really do like how they use the uh, Silent Hill sound effects. Like in the menu. <laughs> those silent... Those effects... Bring back so many memories. Alright, let's just assume I need to put it in here. The question is, how do I uh, do so? Whoa, zoom. Sudden thought, maybe I don't have to use that quite yet. I looked at the lock, but my mind was so focused on that garbage disposal thing that, uh... There we go. Hey, save point. How far down does this go? Uh, well, let's go floor by floor. Never mind. Another save point. And this guy likes to feel guilty a lot. Hey, a key. Manager's key. Shouldn't that mean I pretty much can... Well, either I needed to get into a manager's room somewhere, or... anything with that yet. Dreams. This room really reminds me of, uh, 
that one room in Silent Hill 2 where you had to hide in the closet and then watch Pyramid had to rape a fucking mannequin. Oh hey, something I can pick up. Everything else seems to be, uh, stagnant. What is this? I mean, other than what seems to be a cereal box. Okay. Let's go find where I can use that key. There we go. Well, that definitely recreated the eerie atmosphere that the original Santa Hills had, and recreated the feeling of you are absolutely helpless, because I have no weapon, and I move pretty slow. Lots of locked doors. This is the same floor. Was it? No, it's another garbage chute. Okay, so I have a feeling I'm going to pick something up on a higher floor and uh, drop it down here and I'll need to go down to this floor for something. I don't know what I'll need it for. Why are all these lights on in an abandoned apartment? At least I assume this is an apartment. The name would lead me to believe that it's a hospital, because, you know, Silent Hill. But... Because Arkhamilla, if I remember correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do, was a hospital. So, this seems more like an apartment, though. Your dumb box. Was a finger print on something here. So what can I pick up? I don't want your stupid box. A hammer? It's not the hammer. Maybe it's just uh maybe that's not supposed to be there. I think there would be a reason, but I guess not. Well, I did something. So there was a reason to go down here, at least. The door has no handle. This is a door now. I do have to say, I am 
pretty impressed with this mod so far. They've even gotten the uh, very creepy sounds to the machines. Just kind of in the background. Those fucking washing machines in Silent Hill 2. Now the question is, what exactly did I do? I wonder if that manager key will allow me to open something on this floor. I think it's pretty safe to assume the manager key only opens that room is already open. Only opens uh, those big doors. That wasn't jammed earlier. That was not locked earlier either. That's where I came from. Just check all these real quick, see if there's anything I need to open. Doesn't seem to be the way. Alright, it's not this floor. I'm assuming it's some room with plumbing. Also, this is only a demo, so I'm not sure if there are even any enemies in this game yet. I'm pretty sure there will be. Oh, I was not on the floor I started. The second floor is where I already came from. All right. I'm dumb. Let's try this floor. Wow, it's brighter on this floor. That one's unlocked, already checked it. Garbage chute is not jammed on this floor. It'll only go down one floor. I'll just start trying to open all the doors I see. Maybe it's in that one room. I have an idea. This is still blocked off, right? Alright, I have a feeling I'll never need to go up there. What's this? Nothing? Okay.
Weird. I still have no idea what the hell the point of turning all these on were. I mean, I'm thinking I might have to turn them individually, and they're not all facing the same direction, because I can still mess with them. But the thing is, I kind of need a hint as to what I need to use those floor, floor, what I need to use those for, because I'm not sure what I need to adjust them for. This is that room with the manager's key, yep. Oh, hey. Bloody sink. That's always a good sign. Fucking garbage bag always gets me. It looks like something's standing there. Well, I'm just gonna start messing with the different. What? My only thought right now. I've done something here. I don't know what I've done. The only thing I can click on, or that I was able to click on, was that thing in the manager's room. Or at least I'm assuming it's the manager's room. Uh, and here. Is it in here? I think so. I think I got it. There's that. Yeah, these are the same signs as on here, so I think I need to put them in in a specific order, I believe. What order that is, I'm not entirely sure. It should just be whatever you come across first, maybe? But I don't remember what I came across first. This is very last, then, I think. Mash buttons. Alright, let me look. I kind of, to be honest, hate cryptic puzzles like this. Because I'm just memorizing stuff, I'm not... Yeah. Alright, so there's... That one. Flesh, darkness. Well, apparently I don't need to push them in order. Is this still here? Okay, it is still there. Okay, that solves everything then. Um, I actually thought that I picked it up and there's no inventory in this game, so I didn't know what I was supposed to do. With the- oops. The posters have words attached to the name, um, and their icons are over here. See that? Streams. 
I would have to leave and see the other, see the other ones. But it says it all here, and it says what created what in order. So, hey, that's how you do it. I kind of, like, sort of figured that. Still kind of cryptic, but I thought that it disappeared. Like, I thought once I looked at something, it was magically, magically gone, which would have been a lot easier to figure out if I knew it was still there. Okay. Hey, what'd I get? A bunch of apartment keys. That's cool. Figured it out though. Let's see what these keys open. Not that one. So I am in an apartment, as I thought. Not sure why they named it after the hospital, but maybe it's just because this is a demo and they just needed a name for all of it. Door is broken, or lock is broken. That's eerie. Hey, I got film. From apartment 13. Keep that in mind. Fibulator? <laughs> my mind is broken. I saw these hooks and my first thought went to Spongebob. This old toy is fucking loud. Oh. <laughs> may or may not have just scared a lot of people with that. So I didn't find anything in there. Something happened in here. Like the old Silent Hill tradition of fire. Okay, gonna need to find a specific number. Well, oh, puzzles are still just as cryptic as the original Silent Hills. Not sure if I could say that's a good or a bad thing, honestly. Vampire.
Well, don't think there's anything in this room. Other than a piano. I probably should be looking for apartment 13. Um... But I keep exploring and getting ADD, I guess. Or maybe just curious. Kind of trying to keep like a mental note of everything. A fucking TV, I remember that. A locked box. Gives me a whole lot of good. Found my phone number. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here. There. And now... I don't need to remember it. Actually, it's not any more cheating as it is writing it down. I know someone's gonna yell at me and go, oh, you're a cheater, or I'm just resourceful. I probably could have remembered it, but fuck it, whatever. Not this room. Did I run by it? This is a room I was just in. Yeah. Probably just if I keep going down. this one. Alright, this is going to be difficult to push. Five, five, five. What? Okay. Not sure what I was expecting. Let's find apartment 13. I hear a phone. Phone's back here. Can't really do a whole lot about that one. Maybe I'll find a crowbar or something in room 13. So let's go to room 13. I still hear the ringing. Maybe it's in this room, then. It is in this room. It 
All right then. Wait. No, that was there. Alright, well, nothing more in here. Oops, I was just in here. It's getting really hot in my room. I love this mic. I can turn on my air conditioning and it's literally only like two feet away from me and you guys can't hear it. Oh, that's what I saw. That's ominous. camera. I found the correct room. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks, player. You're uh, a whole lot of fucking good. Get you out of my way. Looks like it's used for taking pictures. Hey, look at this.
We need to go find some more stuff. But it's 306. That I need to remember. Very first room I could open. Nothing to throw down the garbage chutes yet. I think I was already in here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm getting tired for some reason. I can't tell what's on or what isn't. The door has no handle? What? Okay. to go up the floor. no water. Well, I'm not sure. How to get water. Well, if there's no water, that's what those pipes have to be for, but, uh... I don't know, I didn't have any confirmation of water being turned on or not being turned on. I heard a noise, but it didn't sound like water. Maybe I just didn't turn them the right way.
see there is no noise in here so well there's noise it doesn't sound like water though There we go. Water. That's what I call success. Okay. We have stepped forward. Let's go back up to that room. I forgot that you can adjust these smaller valves. Got a bottle, bottle, bottle full of water. Alright, so enough. Oh. Alright, now I need to um, find other stuff for these pictures, whatever the hell they are. It's one step forward though, so that's good. Now I honestly have no idea where to look. Well, first, let me see. Hold on. Well, there's one. Ah, oh, there we go. I should have all the agents. I don't know why it's saying it's too early to use it. That white text stays around for too long. Now the film is developed. Okay. Photo printed. Babies on hooks. Okay, keep that in mind. Maybe the teddy bear on the left. What the fuck that is on the right? I don't know what that is. 
and baby in the middle. I've seen all those things. I don't know why I didn't pick them up. Whoops. Okay, I guess I will stay there. What? What? No, get rid of it. Get out. There we go. All right. Now I have to go find where the hell that hook is, because I don't remember. I don't remember where the toys are either. I just remember that one of them has a crying baby that is really obnoxiously loud. I'm already done with this room. That body was not there before. There's the bear, there's the baby. That's unusual. Aha! That was not open before. Golden saucer? Oh, hey, that's, um... Well, shit. I remember something going... I remember somewhere there was something I could put something around. There was a group or something around. I don't remember what room that was in. Shit. Flailing will make me think. It didn't work. Was it that? I think it was the happy birthday room. I think. Not this one. Not that one either. Maybe it's on the floor below. Wait. 
That was on floor two? I thought it was on floor three. Okay, maybe it's on the room above. Uh -huh. Damn it. Well, where now? Pretty sure I'm already done with this room. There was another room with a chest. I didn't have... It's not this one. I didn't have the key to open it, though. It's not this one, I don't think. Nope. Very first one? No. Maybe it's on the floor below. I wish I remembered where that- oh, I slapped my mouse. I wish I remembered where that box is. See, I'm great at remembering stuff if I know I need to remember it. But if I don't know I need to remember something specific, uh, it's just gonna go in one ear and out the other because it's not important. Aha, the box. 
I need a key to the box. Where's the key? So I need a key to the box so I can get another thing to open up another box. Not cryptic enough. What? But where is the key? That is the question. I don't know. Well, I did pick up a box, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to open, uh... I don't know how to open this one. I need a key. So my only lead is that box and the box I picked up a while ago, which I don't know if I need to use yet. I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna try it though. Oh shit! That probably broke the box open. I if, I don't know why I thought that wouldn't work. I even said earlier I'm gonna have to put something in this chute, just like in Silent Hill 2, because that still tripped me up in Silent Hill 2, and it did in this one too. I guess I was just very, uh, at a one-track mind. I was like, I need to find the key to open this box. So I was going to search up and down and look for it, but, uh, nope. A small key. Awesome. Let's go back up. I probably should have remembered the door number. Well, at least I know it's on the third floor somewhere to the left of this door. I think. Maybe it was to the right of the door? Not this room. This is where I need to go. So I'll remember that one. 303. I thought that was to the left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep. Silver Saucer. Hey, we're moving forward. I was getting too cold in my room. It's 80 degrees outside. It's not really that hot to the point of I really need to have my AC on at all times so it is hot enough to make me want to turn it on. So I keep having to turn it on and off. Looks like a room key. Alright, what room is locked? That one wasn't. Aha! Another fire burnt room.
All right, well, I guess that's the end of the demo of the mod. Keep in mind, this is only a demo of the mod, so it's going to have all these sort of puzzle type things, but it's also going to have the, you know, the kind of, I want to say slow paced combat that Silent Hill had where you really didn't feel like a fighter and you didn't want to get into fights because you had limited ammo, you weren't really strong, you felt like a regular everyday guy. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a pretty cool mod. I don't want to get hyped about it. They do seem to be showing progress, but like I said before, with mods that seem to have the to be announced date, there's a possibility you'll never actually see that mod getting finished. There's also a possibility that you'll be waiting for another four or five years. But it's a cool mod to look at and definitely one to follow if you want to follow a Silent Hill mod because you can never have any more of the original Silent Hill. You can never have too much of that. So I hey, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time I decide to post.